Well, at the Beechcraft Heritage Museum, and there's bunches of staggerwings, but this is just the main lobby. Somebody taking off. Which sounded weird, kind of sound like a beach starship, but I'm sure that's not what it was. Nope. A baron or something. Anyway, so my cousin's here. And of course, Spike's here. And there's Walter Beach and Olive Beach. And of course, the Great Staggerwing. Of course, I haven't ever showed you guys my Byron Originals Staggerwing, but you've seen my little yellow Staggerwing on the um, on the video. And I guess this is probably Louise, yeah, Louise Satan, and yeah, Olive Beach told Walter Beach to let her fly Staggerwing in the races, and she. She beat Amelia Earhart two or three times, she, uh, the gal that was telling us about it. And, of course, this here's the first staggering with the spats on it before they put change to retractable gear. And I don't know where my cousin went, but... Because you're going to have to pause your video to read that if you want to read it. Uh, Justin, who contacted me this morning from Kansas City area, said that uh, he wants longer videos. He said, if you want to go faster, you can just buzz through them. So this may end up being a pretty long video, but I'll be pausing pretty soon. I guess I ought to get a, more of a side view of the very first staggering. I don't know if you can tell, but you can tell it's a little stubbier. And so they, I know they made the fuselage longer after that. Maybe you can tell that on this one. Tell that's a little bit longer. I think it's like two feet or something. Of course, if I'd read that, we'd probably know. Uh, length's 24 and a half feet. I have to go back to the other one. And lengths, oh, well, I guess it wasn't as much as I thought. It's 24 feet, 3 inches instead of 24 and a half. And ah, now this is the thing I was telling that gal about that she didn't know about. I've seen pictures of this and I've always wanted to build one like this out of metal or whatever they did. And this gal didn't know anything about this. Here it is. Original Beechcraft Staggerwing Landing Gear Retract Mechanism designed in 1933. Isn't that something? So that's how the gears retracted on the full scale. That, I guess this was their mock-up on how to do it. And of course, it's got retractable tail wheel too. Oh, that's so cool! I've all, I've seen pictures of this and always wanted to see it. And I asked that gal about it, and she said she didn't know what I was talking about. Well, there it is. So I'm going to pause it. I think this is a, what's called the mystery ship. 
Yep. The mystery ship. Travel Air Mystery Ship. I don't know if that's the original one or... I don't know where my cousin ended up. He don't... He don't like airplanes. They said the museum was really, uh, originally was, was about the staggering, but then they started including all the other ones. That's why they changed it to the Beechcraft Heritage Museum instead of just staggering museum. Yeah, he's, they used uh, runway uh, runway lights for sidewalks here. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to write, wipe off this lens, at least on my side. Not right, Spike. Come on, there you go. All right. That must not be the first. Bonanza either, but it's model from background number made 15. I don't know which one this one is though. So. Serial number D9. I like seeing airplanes like this so you can see how things work. And I've seen, uh, oh, I guess I've seen a video on YouTube too about a guy. Um, that was here shooting a video of all this. This one don't have that STC on there. Oop, I'm touching it. There's a stagger wing in the bones. wind tunnel models. That's so cool. Staggling, of course, one of the, my all-time favorite airplanes. Well, I'm, I've noticed that, looks like that might be balsa wood there. I've noticed that when I show other places that I've been on aviation stuff, they did, don't get many views. So I guess we'll find out if that's the same way for this. We 
said we can get in the starship. And I see it back there. Maybe that's where my cousin's hanging out. Yeah, see ya. Bonanza twin. How about that? Wonder how that handles engine out. Well, here's the starship, which I went to fly in in Wichita, Kansas with my stagger wing, and I won the starship uh, beach award. Our beach award was a starship, and of course, I still have it at home. We're inside the beach starship. All right, Spike. Spike, is that right? We said we could get in this. Not a whole lot of headroom. I'm not showing up too good on the video. Is it, Spike? Okay. So that's where we just went up and down. Like they kind of shorted the canard there a bit from this. This ain't no stagger wing, but it's, it's got a staggered wing. That's what it's called. It looks like it's all all um, composite. And it's got flaps and ailerons. Oh, flaps and ailerons on both wings. Ha! <laughs> of course, no, and no inner plane struts. I was going to say wood blade versus metal but i guess that's just a wood blade with a slick paint job like my prince prop this is that same bonanza with that's cut away but the other side missing a wing can you imagine that See the hinges? Just rotates on the leading edge elevator tube, which I was trying to duplicate on my Byron stagger wing. And the rudder hinges are the same way. some damage and bent tube there. I guess that's a sign that used to be at the beach assembly plant in Wichita.
beautiful stag going here. Of course, they all are, but this one looks like it might have a bit more motor in it. Like a twin row. But I don't see another set of jugs behind there, so maybe not. One of the last 20 built. Well, oh, and there's the, I guess maybe the original plans for the first one. But then spats are a lot skinnier on there than what they were on there. So, still don't know where my cousin ended up. Beach 18. Spike and I have got to fly in one of those. I guess they they said they're having a a uh, banquet dinner or something here tonight. Never can see enough stagger wings. It's just a beautiful, beautiful airplane. I don't like this particular model, the D model. I like I think it's called a G model where the don't have that doesn't have that notch right there it's smooth like that one we just seen the other red one that was just in well like this one here kind of like on the or like well no like not like that one that's like my yellow one but see this is the cowling smooth like the like my uh, Ultra Cruiser, not like uh, Smoky Tom's, it goes like that and then goes down. This must be a, don't, it must be for Beach 18 or something. Motor Mountain gearbox or whatever her beach 18 that looks a little big for staggering yeah me and spike at the uh, humble gathering a couple years ago got to Go fly on a beach 18. Didn't you, Spike? Spike. Spike. Didn't you? Didn't you get to fly on a beach 18? Yeah, you did. That's back when you might have had 900 hours or something. Which he now has 1800, I mean 1188 and 14 minutes. Well, still don't know where my cousin ended up, but we got a long video that uh, people want. Of course, this could take forever for it to download. Oh, there might be some Byron Staggerwings out of here. thinking that's a Byron one but so so there you go tubers there's a video of the Beechcraft Heritage Museum God bless, and there you go.